So this video is just going to be on fitness advice. Um, not really trying to show off my body as much as I love to, you know. But what you see is what you get plus advice. All right. Um, I know other than the fact that you guys really don't fucking lift, um, but for those that do lift, um, there's like a few things you need to know if you're going to get any results long term. And really, what you're shooting for is long term results because that's what limits people. It's not about just going into the gym and then like shocking the muscle or confusing the muscle, whatever the fuck that means, right? So. One thing, um, you need to be shooting for the minimum adaptation, um, so you don't need to be doing 8, 9, 10 sets when all you really need for your minimum adaptation, or minimum amount of stimulus for an adaptation, which is usually around 3 to 4 sets, um, totaling for a week, like it might be 8 to 10 sets for a week, so you're talking about 3 sets 3 times a week. So do that and uh, just add in an accessory exercise. So you need to be doing like a compound movement for about three sets, so like bench press. And then just make sure you follow up a, an accessory exercise. So like cable crossovers, which is really good because you don't really get that much motor unit uh, recruitment from like a uh, bench press. It's honestly not that much range of motion for the chest. Oh, we're back to flexing. So if you actually think about the uh, cable crossover, um, you're not really getting much, well, sorry, the bench press, if you're not, if you're bench pressing, you're not getting much range of motion. So you're just going right here and then back up. Even, even uh, dumbbell press doesn't give you as much range of motion. Um, because especially when you consider the front part of the movement, like there's not much uh, force onto the chest when you're all the way out here, right? So you need that force being placed on the muscle when your shoulder is all the way out here for an extra bit of fiber recruitment. So like with the cable crossover, you're getting that real far stretch and then the tension is staying until you get to the end range of motion. Um, yeah, getting real deep into this shit. So definitely have cable crossovers and just stick to a bench press. So you do like three sets of bench and then three, well, two sets of cable crossovers, and then maybe some uh, triceps, maybe. Um, and as long as you just rotate that accessory exercise, so like cable crossovers, with say, high to low cable crossover and low to high, changing that up every three weeks, and then changing uh, from heavy to light, as well as bench press heavy to light within the week. So one way, so one day bench pressing heavy and the next day bench pressing light, so high reps. Um, you will continually get uh, results and just keep doing that long term. That's the best way to really get long term uh, adaptations and uh, never overstimulate the fucking muscles. Don't do 10 sets of 10 because then you've got to do 11 sets of 10 and 12 sets of 10 to keep it up and you only have so much time in the gym all right so that's probably the most useful advice I can give in about three minutes time or you can just feel muscular by associating yourself with me that's what some of these guys do they'll lie to me on Skype I'm closer to I feel bigger if I'm you know affiliated with you, associated with you, feel completed by being with you. That's what a lot of these muscle gods don't get sometimes. They don't really get that like these fags are actually completed with you and that is their end goal. Whereas um, most of these fags are just like insulting, insulting, insulting. As much as I love to do that, you know what I mean? But that's where I get my kicks. You know, since this is a muscle channel, why not show the muscles? Legs are definitely coming out a little bit more. You might see, we checked like yesterday's or two days ago video. 
you should be able to see quite a bit of difference. If I get lean, I'll get lines in my quads. It's pretty fucking cool. Which is quite amazing because, honestly, even those Olympia competitors do not get lines that much. I'm just looking capable of storing fat on that lateral quad. Alright, um, that's it. Uh, I enjoy answering fitness questions. Um, so honestly, just send me your fitness questions because I'm making a fitness channel outside of this. So, yeah, send me your questions so I know what to answer on my other channel. And then maybe I'll answer it on this. Um, so, that's it. Um, peace.